guys, so I am put together, feeling much better. My hair's done, and my makeup's on. Showered, dressed, wearing some nice flip flops today because you know it's a hot day, and I don't want to wear any tennies and socks. Um, we have some men working on the house, that's why you hear that. So, don't know how much longer they're going to be doing this. It's really loud. But, what can you do? You gotta get these things taken care of. And so, I'm gonna make some breakfast for my kiddos because they are ready to eat. I know my daughter was here because her brace is here. But, coffee while I make some breakfast and listen to something motivational. I'm not gonna get it. She wants this new new app. She wants this new app on her iPad, but it's not gonna happen. Not right now. But I'm gonna show you my night routine. It is already evening, it's about nine o'clock. And the kids were in the pool, actually it's 9.30. The kids were in the pool after dinner and they showered and now they're ready for bed. Gloria's just in my room playing a few games. Um, I have to tell you, I didn't do a lot of filming today, I was just, so tired still. Um, I still have that lingering headache and I know it has to do with my low iron levels. And I did take my iron supplement, but I'm thinking I might, I might have to go see my doctor. Um, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if these supplements start to make me feel better. But I was so tired today, I had to take a nap. I, I napped today, I never nap during the day. Um, I just don't but I had to do that, I was just so tired. But, you know, pu pu pushed through, made dinner, made lasagna for dinner, made brownies, and the kids ate, my husband ate, we were outside after dinner, and um, um, they're all inside now, ready for bed. I'm gonna show you my night routine, what I do to get myself ready for bed. So, I take off all my makeup and brush my teeth, then put on my pajamas, I do a Bible study, and then I call it a night. Get my, my, um, here on my face. And then I have these Equate makeup remover. Can you see that? Yeah. This is just the Equate brand. And um, I'm gonna do that, take care of that, because I need to take care of it. So it is about lunchtime. Um, my girls actually had a really late breakfast. I don't think they're gonna be hungry right now, so I'll make them a snack later. But my son will be hungry. And I got these at Sam's, this is uh, lobster bisque soup. Now, my son and I love the lobster bisque at Papado's. It's, it's really good. So we're gonna give this a try. We'll see how good it is. So, um, I tasted the lobster bits. Mm. Eh, it's not that good, I guess. 
<clears throat> we're just so used to pomodos, which is really good. And obviously they make it fresh, and this is uh, stored in a plastic container in the fridge for a few days. So I don't know, it's just not the same, obviously. But we'll see. I don't know if my, husband, my son will like it. If he doesn't, um, we'll just have to eat something else. I'm gonna eat it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm having some almonds. I'm gonna go upstairs and start uh, going over all our homeschool books and stuff and see what I don't need and donate those to somebody who can use them. So early this school year, I had done myself a uh, homeschool planner which I didn't even use. I need to work on this, guys. I really do need to work on my uh, homeschool planning, just keeping it organized. Um, but it's just, uh, yeah, did not happen. I had it all put together every single month. I have an empty, then I tried to do this, simple uh, planning, and that didn't work out either. So. This was my homeschool planner for 2017-2018. It's a small one. And still did not really work out for me. Uh, I need to come up with something. It, you know what, it's not that it doesn't work for me, it's just I don't make I don't make an effort to do it. So it's not the binder's fault. It's not the planner, it's me. It's not you, it's me. So I am pretty much done decluttering. My girls are just playing there watching some Netflix. But I do have one trash bag full of trash that I need to throw away. And a few uh, workbooks for donation. Um, a few Life of Fred books and some Spectrum workbooks. So those will be going into the donation pile and see if I can find somebody who's interested in having those. But it's that time again to start making dinner. So. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm gonna make dinner now. The girls are hungry, so let's get them something to eat. Check out the lights here. There we go. Okay, let's do this. In his lunch, some taco salad. It smells good. Um, and I've been re uh, brainstorming our day today. Shake, shake, shake. Woo this should be a workout. This is a midday pick me up. It's hot outside. We're gonna go to Walmart really quick to go get a few things I need for dinner. Pick up some lunch and come on home and watch a movie instead. It's very windy outside, so we're just coming back home. And I'm gonna do my little shake. Uh, this is a. Uh, Energize from Beach Body, really good flavor. This is the fruit punch flavor, and I'm gonna have this give me a little bit of energy. Helps me helps me to focus a little bit better. My son's looking at me like I'm weird. He's a weird one. Okay, he ran away. He ran away. He ran away. Okay, see you guys later. Okay, so it is 4:30. I'm getting dinner ready. Uh, I have some beans cooking for some. Mexican ranchero beans, and I already have the ground beef cooked from this morning because I made my husband some taco salad, so I went ahead and cooked all the ground beef. And I'm gonna throw some potatoes in the oven to bake uh, for baked potatoes, so hopefully those are ready for dinner time. 
Gloria is getting some Jenga here ready because she wants to play Jenga. So I'm going to play Jenga with her while I make dinner. And she is setting it up differently today because she wants to make it challenging. And so she's doing a, a challenge, very challenging a setup here. So we're going to do that. And while she sets up, I'm going to make dinner. Happy Friday. Um, still have not done my makeup or anything, but because I've been working on a uh, homeschool planner for next school year, I started last night working on the the pages that I want in my planner for next year. Keeping it very simple, but let me just show you the mess I have right now. This is the process in progress. I'm using some of these. Um, Crafting sheets I got at Walmart. You can find these at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I thought I'd use all the monthly uh, monthly themes for the dividers that I've made myself. And I will show you how I did that. Um, I have my paper cutter so I could have straight lines. I misspelled a word. Can you believe that? So now I have to redo that cover page and laminate that again because that's not... That's not gonna work if you have a misspelled word in your homeschool binder. So, here's my laminator. Gloria was eating a snack earlier this morning. Here's my laminator, it's on. I just thought I'd work in my bedroom and I've been sitting down on the floor. Here are some of the printable pages that I have. If you like it, let me know. I'd be happy to send you the PDF file that I created. The only thing is, the only thing I did use from somebody else is this, um, calendar and it's from wonder and wildness yeah wonder and wildness.com i like the spread that she had i didn't so i didn't have to recreate that so and then i created these weekly uh pages so i'll show you how it all comes together once i get this done and i was going to put it in a binder but i think i'll have it spiral bound uh bound or however you call it i have one of those little binding thingies, I don't know what they're called, um, to get all these pages together. I still need to work on a few more little printables that I want to put at the beginning of the binder or planner, and then I think I'll be ready to start uh, getting things ready for next year. Yay! Did it those. So let me show you what I have so far. I don't want to show you too much until the product is complete, completed, but this is the front cover. Homeschool 2019 through 2020. It's going to be a great year, right? Let's all hope. We all hope for that. And then you know, just some printables that I got from uh, from the web from. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't talk today. Some printables that I caught got from online. This is from Calendarpedia.com, and then I did these myself. They're just you know, a bunch of lines to write on, and some dividers that I got using um, crafting paper that I got at Walmart and I cut them to so that they can have a little tab with a month on it and then I did these printables nothing crazy just you know some area to write on and um, the month but I'm gonna go to my husband's shop because that's where my combing binder is or whatever it's called that little machine that cuts all the little holes and then you can put these little combs in there I'm gonna go and get put this together and then when I come back home I will show you guys my planner. Hey guys, so I am back from my mom's house. We went to my mom's house because it was my nephew's birthday and I was able to stop at my husband's shop and finish this. So I'm going to show you this um, homeschool planner for the 2019-2020 school year and let's take a look. Okay, so here is the homeschool binder and what I did, I used craft paper to do the covers and the dividers and then I laminated those with my laminator here at home. 
so I used this pretty little design here. And so the first page is just the yearly calendar that I printed off uh, online from calendarpedia.com and they have this one. So I went ahead and added it to my planner. And then the, right behind it I went uh, did a two-sided pages and this is just the whole year. This should be July and I put uh, August again so I'm just gonna, you know, uh, scratch it off and put July with a marker. But that's one error I did. Whoopsies. So that should be July. So obviously we're starting a school year back in August and uh, this is just a year just in case I want to put something to remind myself that maybe we want to do that month. Maybe take a trip or whatever, you know. Birthdays and stuff like that. Then I have uh, notes or curriculum needed per child. I have one, two, and three children. And this is where I'll put we know what books I want to get because I'm still planning the school year so I need to know what books I'm going to get and so I can get those ordered. I have not ordered or bought anything and it's, it's getting pretty late in the year and I need to start doing that. Then here we go, August school begins and we have a little backpack. This is a craft paper again that I got at Walmart and um, I labeled them uh, with the months. So each month has this packet. It's got the first page that kind of I can kind of plan the month if we're going to do any special projects, any special day outs, days out, supplies needed and extra notes. And that's this is just a printable that I made myself. I created. And then I made sure that everything was going to be two-sided so that there's no empty blank pages. So on the the next few two pages I printed this Full calendar and this calendar I got from wonder and wildness.com so it was already created for me I just went ahead and downloaded it and added it to my my planner and so I was happy to see a full layout of a whole month plus lines to write any extra notes and it is a blank uh, month so I just have to write in the numbers and that's gonna be all I need to do here. So this this I did get from another website, uh, wonderandwild.com. Okay, so then the next few pages, these next few pages are notes because I didn't want to have any blank pages on the, at the on one side. So I went ahead and printed notes here and notes here and then we get to the weekly weekly layout. So we have Monday through Sunday and then notes here at the bottom. And these I also created myself because I just wanted to keep it simple, just to write down what we did that day and any notes that I need to know for the following week. So it's basically just kind of journaling down what the kids got to do. Um, and I'll explain why I want to do that, why I don't plan too far ahead. So here's another week. Each little month slot has about four, to, I think about five weeks, just to make sure we have enough. Some months have five weeks and some months have four weeks. And then the last page, more notes, more notes page. Here's another month, September, laminated, craft sheet, craft paper, and then again it's gonna have the same thing, every month has the same thing. Here's October, and then we have a monthly little packet here. This is November, December, Same thing in every month. January, Happy New Year. February, Happy Valentine's Day. March. April, a little Easter thing. May, some pretty little tulips. June. It's supposed to say Happy Father's Day, but um, obviously I had to cut this to size, so I had to cut some of the letters out, but this would be a Father's Day theme. And then July, 4th of July. And then we, that's the end of the month, the year. So this is it, here's the back cover, matches the front cover. And so that's what it's
since it's homeschool, it's going to be a great year. You can see the little tabs there. Okay, so this is it. This is the planner. Um, I kept it very simple because since most of the curriculum or books that you get or workbooks that I use them once I've seen, it's basically one lesson a day and that's what we do. We just do one lesson a day and there's days that we do two lessons depending on how quick the girls uh, pick up on that lesson or they need more practice and do extra worksheets. So what I'll be doing is basically journaling their work in this planner so I can see how far they are and if they're if they are um, having problems in a certain subject, I can write that down in the notes and know that the next day we need to work on it some more until they can master whatever it is that they're work learning or working on that week. So this is it. I will have a little bit of planning ahead, but most of it is, you know, one lesson a day um, for the girls. And then my, my, my son will be doing high school level, so I'll be doing a little bit more planning on that. But this is what I'm going to use. And we'll try to be consistent because here's the thing, sometimes we can get the best planner in the world, but if you're not consistent with it, then what's the point, right? So I'm going to try my best to be consistent and use it and write on it and allow this to help me and so that I know exactly how far the girls are going and my son. And what I want to do is kind of keep it as a journal as well, you know, their homeschooling journal for this year. Probably add some pictures of them during the school year and keep it as kind of like a yearbook. book. So that's what I have planned. So this is it. So let me just show you. See? What do y'all think? Let me know. Super simple. Very simple, simple. Nothing, nothing too complicated. Something that's simple enough for me to be consistent with and be able to actually have it help me that me running away from it if it's got too many things to fill out and if it's too um, uh, scheduling, I won't keep it. But this is more, you know, gives me gives me each week uh, for the month and then I could just write down what we did and how far the girls did and if they had problems with that subject or they were great and easy to go or they were really interested in it, maybe we can keep on working on that particular that is it. It is Friday. I am wrapping this video up. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time.